Hey everybody, Amy Poncho here doing a Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we passed through Mount Moon, and here we are in Cerulean City. Anyway, while you were out, I killed a Pokemon and put a Magnemite in the front. So, uh, let's just go and, uh, make a pathetic attempt at defeating Misty with our level 10 Pokemon. Now, both of these trainers, actually, that Misty, her little lackeys, both of them are skippable, so if you just take the path I just did. And as you can see, Magneton's out in front. And, uh, right now it's still level 10, but it does know Thunderbolt and Thunder, which I'm hoping uh, it might work. I don't know. I don't know how much damage water does to a Steel type, but I guess we'll find out. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all defensive with water type Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, I have pretty much the same voice for all the gym leaders until we get to the Elite Four, and then I have special voices. That's why Misty sounded like a guy just then. Oh, it's only level 18? We can take it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do it! Oh, okay. Wow, well, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I'll meet you guys back here after I totally die. <laughs> um, hey guys, uh, my Zator just beat Misty's Staryu and pretty much in one hit was Solar Beam. And so, I think I might actually have a chance of beating this fight, but we'll see. It won't obey, okay, wow. Yeah, it disobeyed me twice in the first battle, and then it finally, no, okay. No, but it did take out Staryu, so I thought I might as well throw that in there, just to see if we can get lucky and defeat her with a Solar Beam, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Anyway, like I said before, I'll meet you back here after I get destroyed. And we're back. Okay, well, during that fight, I don't know if I'm going to put the clip in or not, but... What's his face? Executor actually did a little bit of damage and took out Staryu. And it's level 13, so I think I'm going to have another go with this. Because if we can defeat Misty here, then uh, I'm going to gain control of my Pokemon temporarily. At least until they hit level 31. Only those trainers who have a policy with Pokemon can turn pro. What's your approach to new and train? Oh, all defensive. Okay, cool. Alright, let's try this again. Because what's cool is, uh... I'm not sure if Psychic does half damage to Psychic or not, but... If all that they know is Psychic and, and Water-type moves... This, uh, should be a pretty good battle. Because I can just totally destroy it with a, a water uh, Grass-type moves. He's Psychic. Actually, see, that's good, though. Look at how much damage it did. Do it again. Oh, Super Potion. Yeah, a lot of times when you're fighting, uh, higher-level trainers... Especially like gym leaders and elite four and such, they they'll use I think a limit of two items in a battle. I'm not sure. I know that that two item limit pretty much applies to the lower level ones that use items. I don't know about the elite four or not. Let's see psychic again because that seems to be doing just as much damage as solar beam would at this point. It won't obey. Yeah, when it says it won't obey, it does nothing. When it says it's loafing around, it does nothing. When it says it's uh well wow when it kills it it kills it. When it says it uh, disobeyed orders, it means it's going to do a different uh, move instead of the one you said. Which, in the end, sometimes can actually be an okay thing, because at least it does damage, right? Level 14! Yes! Like I said, if it's not going to obey, it might as well obey, or it might as well disobey at a high level. Alright, let's do this right. I want to heal it. Yeah, I can stamp to another one of those. Just sunny day. Oh, you asshole. Can I take a third one of those? Um, 14. Oh, I don't think so. Let me heal it. Yeah, just keep using Swift. I can take you out and keep doing that. Heal it again. Heal, I say! 39. Alright, 23. That means it did 16 damage. Oh, I hope this works. Please, please do it, please. Oh, yes! Freak, yes! Now I just gotta get it to obey me. Please, just do Solar Beam. Yes! Oh my god, we might actually win this, guys. This is ridiculous. Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it. 
Yes! Aha! Freak yeah! Level 14! Take that, Misty! Oh my god! That is the lowest level Pokemon I've ever had at this point in the game. That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh man. That is so awesome! I can't believe that actually worked. I was totally expecting you to just throw this whole clip away and just like start over. But that is awesome. And we got the Cascade badge and $2,100. Awesome. And now we can control the Pokemon. Oh my god, this is amazing, guys. Oh, you don't even believe how awesome this is. And we get TMO3, which is Water Pulse. Use it on aquatic Pokemon. No, I'm gonna teach you to my, my uh, Zegitor. Just to spite you. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. Let's see, the next thing we need to do is go head up north of town. It's on the north side here, and there's this cop blocking this door. People here were robbed! It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Y'all, the rockets suck, so you guys must be horrible. Anyway, but we need to go through that house. As you can see, there's a little path out there, and there's the rocket grunt that we need to fight. Anyway, but he won't move until after we go up on the cape. So, uh... I'll meet you guys back here after healing up a Pokemon. Uh, hey guys! Uh, I accidentally took another step forward before going back... Or actually, after I went to the Pokemon Center, I went and healed. I came back here, and I ended up taking one more step than I intended. And, uh, yeah, Gary walked up and says, Yo, Poncho! Oh yeah, double exclamation point. I just saw that as it was going away. Alright, at least we have more Pokemon than him. Of course, these are, yeah, level 17, wow. Oh, and I get a bad matchup right off the bat. Gosh. Um. Yeah, let's give Magnemite a chance to shine. And he'll actually listen to us. Oh, if he doesn't miss, let's see. Thunder. Do it, Magnemite, make it happen. Yes! Okay, come on, do it, do it. Got it. Oh, look at that, level 10, kicking a level 17. Gotta love it. And Xavier Tour's growing. Oh crap, I don't want it to get too high. Level 30 is the cap until we get the fourth gym badge, guys. How to use Squirtle. No, I'm not gonna change. I'm gonna leave it here. Let's see. Same strategy. Let's see if I can make it work. Oh yeah, withdraw. Raise your defense. That way when I use a special attack like Thunder, it doesn't do any damage. Because it misses. Ugh. Get it? Yes. Oh. Lame. Oh wow, I'm surprised that he didn't use a, use a- Oh, whoops. Shh. I came out of nowhere. Why did he lower my defense before using a water-type attack? That doesn't even make sense. Anyway. Go, Executor! We're not gonna fight very many water-type Pokemon until the next, uh, until the next few gyms, so I'm not really worried about him getting too high. I'm probably not gonna use him a lot much. And that does it for Squirtle. I like Executor has just become, like, the lead Pokemon. I never intended it to be, but it's like the highest level by far. Uh, he's ghastly. That way it's normal attacks. Normal, the Rattata's normal type attacks won't affect it. Normal Hyper Fang for you! Ah, uh, you see, I don't think, I mean, that's strange. I guess it's only direct damage attacks, but Taleb's a normal type attack. Why does that do damage? Or it doesn't do damage, or why does it even affect it? But it's a normal type attack. Because, uh, steel types aren't hurt by normal, uh, steel types are not, uh, don't get, don't get any damage dealt to them by poison type attacks, but they can't be poisoned. And yet, you can use Tail Whip, a normal type move, on a ghost type Pokemon. It's just a little bit inconsistent. And it's trying to learn Curse. Maxly can't learn more. Yeah, let's see what we can, let's see what we can do. Now, Spite just uses up power points, and I mean, I'm not gonna be in a battle long enough for that to really be coming into play, I don't think. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's really gonna be the really thing I wanna use. A move that works differently for the ghost type and all other types. Why well, not ghost type cuts its HP in order to, like, put a horrible curse on the foe, so I'm gonna do that. Basically, I think it takes away, like, it's either a fourth or half of your HP, and it puts a curse on the enemy, which does, takes away a fourth of their HP every turn. And I don't think that the curse can be healed by any items, but I don't know if it gets healed by switching out or not. Nah, we're not gonna change. Ghost type does double damage to Psychic. Teleport. Oh, but it failed. You can't teleport out of a trainer battle. 
stupid Gary. Wow, did we just win? Like, I honestly thought I, we were gonna lose this fight because we we're so under level, but we're just, with the, with the way that I blanket the types with my six Pokemon, we're just getting super effective fits all the time and it's, we're taking them out. Hey, take it easy! You won already! Now I got 300 bucks for him. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna build a gun which means rare Pokemon. That had a lot of features in my Pokedex. After all, Bill's a world famous Pokemaniac. He invented Pokemon's sword system on PC too. Since you're using a system, you should thank you. I'm gonna get rolling, smell you later. Okay. What is this? Oh, yeah, right. I feel so sorry for you. No, really, you're always falling behind me. Jerk. Jerk! So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Faint? That's so stupid. I hate a lot of them. I think the only item more useless than the Faint Checker is the uh, TGTV. Ugh. Anyway. At the start of the next video, we'll finally get to go out onto this bridge here. I'll see you guys then.